Today we will make a Fourier spectroscopy measurement of ultra-short laser pulses. This beam contains a rapid series of identical femtosecond pulses. We will use a Michelson interferometer with a scanning motion stage connected to one of the mirrors. Because the movement of the mirror is not steady, the measurement can be corrupted. To compensate for this problem, we send a helium neon laser beam through the interferometer side by side the femtosecond laser beam. Now we do this because we know the spectrum of the helium neon laser and we can use that to deduce the mistakes made by the motor during scanning. Here we see the femtosecond laser pulse entering the interferometer a few millimeters above the helium neon laser. Both beams hit this beam splitter, travel to these mirrors and then back. This is a compensation plate to ensure that there's the same amount of dispersion in each arm of the interferometer. The femtosecond laser pulse travels through this small aperture and into a photodiode, while the helium neon laser reflects off this mirror, travels through a pinhole, and into this photodiode here. Now I've connected a computer to control the scanning motor and to digitize the outputs of the two detectors. Let's make a one millimeter scan, Dave. Alrighty then. The upper graph is a signal of the helium neon laser. The lower graph is the signal of the femtosecond laser. On the right, we have these two same graphs, just focused in within the area between these two cursors. Notice how the fringe patterns stretch or compress due to the variance in motor speed. Here's a graph of the signal from the femtosecond laser after correction for the motor variation. Because of the wide spectrum, the fringes vanish for motor positions away from equilibrium. Here's the Fourier transform of our data. The spectrum ranges from 12,000 to 13,000 wave numbers and is much wider than the extremely narrow spectrum of the Heaney laser, which is at about 15,800 wave numbers.